Hello, and welcome to the Lab Windows CVI IV demonstration on repeated capability. My name is Sean Shaw from National Instruments. IV drivers make it easy to programmatically command instruments from numerous vendors. This demonstration will illustrate just how easy it is to use IV drivers in the Lab Windows CVI environment to access repeated capabilities. Today we are working with the Tektronix 2500 Spectral Analyzer IV driver. To follow along with this demonstration, please first download this driver from ni.com slash idnet and also download at least the minimum software required, which is listed at the bottom of each driver download page under the additional required software section. For assistance finding and installing the software, just refer to the IV Getting Started PDFs on the resources page of the IV Foundation website. Repeated capabilities represent multiple instances of the same functionality in an instrument, and they can vary from instrument to instrument. For example, different spectral analyzers could have a varying number of traces, each with their own name. In this example, we are going to query the Tektronix 2500 spectral analyzer for its number of traces and each output name. Each line of our source code is commented to help explain the instructions and guide our learning efforts. You may notice that each instrument command is wrapped with a check error function. This function is actually a macro, which will check the status of the instrument and report this status to the error variable. If we do encounter an error, the macro will send us to the error label at the bottom of our code, which will output error message details safely close our session with the instrument and stop our code. National Instruments created this macro to make troubleshooting easy for customers and suggests its use as good coding practice. On line 16, we start by initializing the instrument. The first parameter in the initialize with options function is our resource ID. To make this code compatible with another instrument connected to your system, we only need to modify our resource ID on this one line of code. This function also allows us to control the higher level capabilities of IV drivers, such as simulation, range checking, and state caching. For example, we have enabled simulation by sending the string simulate equals one. Next, we ask the instrument how many traces exist. This information is stored in the trace count attribute. This function stores the results in our num traces variable and outputs the result to the screen. Now we will enter a loop. First we will query the instrument for the name of each of its different traces, then we will output this name. When the code is run, we should see five different traces and each of their names displayed on separate lines. This concludes the Lab Windows CVI IV demonstration on repeated capability. I hope you've been able to see how easy it is to bring IV drivers into the Lab Windows CVI environment. For additional information, including videos, tutorials, and more documentation, you can go to the IV Foundation website at www.ivfoundation.org. Thank you.